So now back to my own uh, videos based on Follow the Water. They're all uh, sort of sound effects of water moving along and different bits of uh, the brooks. Uh, I mentioned this at the beginning of the show, but um, just just starting again. It's all it's all very odd. I I was going to put clips together later into some sort of sequence, but I was uploading them from my phone. Uh, I'm not sure quite why. I think I think just so I could see what was going on, and they became shorts, which is YouTube's way of trying out other formats. I think. It's only tried out in India, or at least all the views seem to be from India. I don't think it's really in the UK yet. Um, but one of them had um, about 1,500 views, and another had almost 500, and the other ones, as normal, almost no views at all. So I'd, I've, this has definitely got my my interest, and I'm well. I'll play I'll play a couple of them. Uh, they might they might work as as sound. So this is Taddeford 2 and Taddeford 3. So the, my, my reason for, for starting off with this was to, to not only do a walk in a specific place, but have a conversation that suited the place. So the Taddeford Brook starts off near where there's some new student accommodation part of the Exeter campus and then the lower part of it there's there's a, a, a space it might have just been a nightmare I, th I thought there was going to be student accommodation there as well but I can't find any evidence that was ever proposed and it doesn't seem to be happening at the moment but the space isn't as um, well presented for access I would say as it might be I don't know we'll come back to that but not soon because um, in the new uh, academic year sort of from September October onwards uh, the, the be more students to talk about it and there may be some from India who, who understand what these shorts are or what's what's happening with the uh, the, the analytics of it or how these clips they're sort of 15 seconds or 20 seconds how it could be linked together to make some sort of sequence um, I, I, I'm, I'm told when I when I start talking about breaking up drama into shorter chunks to, to shuffle it about a bit for a radio show it does it's, it, it's not obviously thought of as a good idea by by most people I try it out with which is is fair enough um, I'm certainly finding 20 seconds is is difficult uh, because you rely on the robots the AI is there to make sense of it and they just seem to think well this is a nice one of more water let's find another one or something like that anyway um, going off in one direction then I, I, I was in Kendall where uh, there's a, a, a very good uh, castle in ruins mode uh, the, the, the sort of pre-story of this ruin may have to be recorded somewhere else but it is it is a location uh, that works well as a as a ruin and um, I did some very short ones there as well on on the problems that I could see uh, and I'll play just the the marketing one So this this has been recognised as a short, and has had forty five views, whereas the other problems, uh, zero or one or something like that. Um, so that's that's interesting, and the 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 other thing is that the the North Brook, um, which goes round from sort of near Stoke Hill and ends up. Uh, near the golf course for the River X and it uh, joins up the River X um, that is uh, not getting many views but is more more interesting I think for for the current situation because um, 
The Imaginarium of Us, a creative celebration of Exeter's green spaces, uh, is presented by Burn the Curtain on the 3rd, 4th, 17th and 18th of September. Um, I'm probably not, not in Exeter dur during those dates, but I'm, I'm sure a lot of people will be. Um, so they're talking about Riverside Park, Mincing Lane Park and Ludwell Park. And um, I'm sure Ludwell Park is, is adjacent to the North Brook at one, one point. Uh, www.burnthecurtain.co.uk is where you can find, uh, find, find more about that one. So I, I think I'll concentrate on that and uh, come back to the, the campus as a location uh, late, later in the year.